I trust him because he knows how to ride. <laughs> I was out of gas, so I couldn't pin it. I was out of gas. All right, we'll stop right now then. Dude, I, I fucking love it. I love it, dude. I love the body. Yeah. <laughs> In the corner. It's the fucking corner. Yep. Yep.
damn, I was empty, empty. He's filming his little bit, but he's probably gonna be the. If anyone watches this, all of my friends don't ask me. I trust him because he knows how to ride. Uh, so I'm gonna let him. I want him to experience what a fully tuned V4R does. I know my tune is acting up, but you gotta see for yourself because it's a complete different bike. So yeah, he's literally just gonna go that way, this way. I want him to get a feel for it. <laughs> Cam is probably the only guy that I trust actually with one of my bikes. Oh, that bike looks good. I've never seen anyone on my bike. I know you guys can relate when someone rides your bike, it looks like something. Uh-huh. I'll tell him how I like about my tune and my clutch. Yeah, yeah, I'm GP shift. That's a loud bike. I'm wearing the helmet and that hurt my ears. It's too nice for me to trust me. If we did that little route right there on my R1M, I would have been going way faster. But I'm like too worried about this. <laughs> I get what, yeah, I wouldn't expect you to ride fast on this, like, and push the limits on this. Yeah, side. exactly. It's, it's just too nice. Like, but you feel the difference? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> That bike did sound good. This is the first time I see it. You know when you see your bike, someone rides it? I was like, this is the first time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when they look at you. Uh-huh. You picked the, uh, probably the perfect exhaust. That's what I was aiming for. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I'm glad you enjoyed it. You should get a V4R. I'm trying to convince him. I know you're a Yamaha guy. Hey, look. I'm a Yamaha guy too. I know, but but you, you already got me on the Ducati, so it's not yeah. my ballpark now. Yeah. Now it's, it's honestly like, and I love, I love uh, the low grumble mm -hmm. uh, uh, engine. I would say the V4 SP would make more sense for the stuff we do. Well, V4 SP is cheaper than that. Not the Super motor. Yeah, it doesn't have that. But that's the thing. This motor is like very aggressive. The suspension is very aggressive. The SP. It's pretty much a prettier upgraded version of the V4S. This is like a toned down Super Legera. You know what I mean? Yep. So like for the roads, for like cruising, little the stuff we do, having the SP would be nice. The electronic suspension, the carbon wheels, all that stuff. You know what I mean? It ha still has the same tank. It just has a V4S motor, which is better for the streets and the stuff that we do versus the full race motor. So does this motor just constantly want to do this yeah 
that's where it's all the time at. yeah Does that makes sense why you, the way you ride yeah <laughs> i tried that's why like when when we cruise really slow and i look back i keep looking i'm like come on because like it's not fun going slow on this bike you know this and the h2 it's so hard to cruise in you know like cruising is over 100 and these bikes it's just like not enjoyable the bike is like what are you doing you know what i mean yeah, literally just letting out the clutch i like i was trying to refrain mm -hmm. from tapping the throttle but like it wants to go to like 10 miles an hour right off the bat yeah it's definitely a lot it's it's a race bike for the streets the sp is a street bike that you can race with you know what I mean? I'm guessing the SP is a little bit smoother just overall. Yes. That's that's why I say like it's better for the streets. Because I get why you say like it's rough, it's it's aggressive. Yeah. But I like it. I don't know. It's if it was my only bike, I probably would have went with the SP. But since I have the R1, which is like way smoother than this. The daily. Exactly. So yeah. What was the daily? You've been daily in this all the time. Well yeah, it's a new bike, gotta put on some miles on it. Heck yeah. <laughs> I'm not, I don't buy bikes just to keep them in the garage. Some people do and I don't get it. I don't either. Hopefully next time you come she'll be actually complete because there's still a lot of missing parts. I've spent so far about eleven, twelve thousand dollars 12000 in parts. I still need another like eight, nine. What can you even do? In parts. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I, if I go through everything you're going to be like, what the hell?